who will benefit? Uh, I think everybody will benefit. Uh, the ones who win the tournament may win the dollars, but I believe the players themselves uh, locally will benefit from this uh, seventh tournament. I believe uh, it is a good tournament and it's gone up to another level. I just want to thank uh, Jay White and uh, uh, all the officials, uh, the supporting uh, group that are uh, making it available. Uh, and thank the sponsors, uh, Fiji Airways, uh, Fiji Tourism, uh, McDonald's, uh, Outrigger on the Lagoon and other sponsors that I didn't mention but uh, without the sponsors it's always difficult to have, uh, to have tournaments. But uh, it is a good tournament. It is good because it's happening in Fiji and uh, it is the first biggest tournament for 2024. We know that it's an Olympic year. Nine months uh, the Olympic is, uh, will be here. But uh, I think uh, who's, who will benefit? Uh, I think everybody will benefit. Uh, the ones who win the tournament may win the dollars. But I believe the players themselves uh, locally will benefit from this uh, sevens tournament. Yes, uh, that's the bonus for this uh, Coral Coast Sevens. This year it has gone up to another level. We have the, the McDonald's Ambassadors Select Team, which was selected by all the ambassadors the last 13 years. And uh, we have some big names coming out like uh, Kyle Brown, former South African Sevens captain, uh, Olympic uh, rugby player too. And uh, we have uh, uh, Kenyan player coming, uh, Billy, Billy Boy, we always call his name. Uh, he's coming too. And then our local uh, Olympic uh, gold medalist, uh, Semi Kunatani, who started at the Coral Coast, was seen at Coral Coast. And uh, they are here. And then we have the New Zealand Development Sevens team uh, playing in the tournament too. And the Australian teams, uh, women's team, uh, New Zealand women's and men's. And then Australian women's team, they are coming out too to play. So there's a lot of uh, uh, great teams playing. And especially our Fiji national center, uh, Fiji Sevens team will be fielding a team too. So that shows how, how the tournament has gone to another level. And uh, I believe who will benefit is the local players that will benefit. They don't need to travel far away to get this kind of exposure. They will definitely benefit because it's in Fiji and they have the capabilities of matching up with some of the big names in rugby. Yes, I believe uh, as a coach uh, you don't need to close doors. You need to keep opening doors because of uh, after the Olympics there's another World Cup, there's another Olympic, there's another cycle coming through. And uh, this is the, uh, the best uh, place to select uh, the best sevens players in Fiji because they'll be playing against some of the top sides and some top players playing against them. And this is where we found Chasa Veremalua, the Olympic gold medalist. This is where we found Semi Kunataini and other players like Donasio, uh, Ratumbuli and other players that made their name in the Coral Coast Sevens playing against the top uh, uh, players in the world. There's Club Sevens tournament, there's Invitational International like Darwin Sevens, Dubai, there's England uh, Sevens tournament uh, where they participate somewhere in them. And this is one of them. Some of the players can only play here. Uh, some players, they can stand out and they are the ones who can go to the next level. So that's the, the beauty of playing at home. You have your close supporters, they are cheering you on. That is the thing about the Coral Coast 7. It's a great tournament for the players, local players, to showcase their talent playing against top players in the world. Mm -hmm.